guys welcome back it's christine of side street market and it is time for another brooches haul i have another goodie bag each goodie bag cost me about 25 dollars. we're gonna go through and see what treasures we can find today in here look at this now this was supposed to be a brooch bag but i think that might be a bracelet and not a brooch guys i don't even know how you would open and close that look at that oh right there so this got mixed in with all the brooches and it also has like two little, I wonder what those are for, but that's kind of a really, really cool bracelet. So that'll be an upcoming whatnot sale. 95% of my jewelry ends up on whatnot now. I try to have a sale once a week and my sales are now during the week, usually between Tuesday and Thursday, one of those nights I pick. So this is our first goodie. And if I hit the stand, I apologize guys. I've got this kind of like right in front of my chair. I'm trying a different angle. Here we have a nice Monet piece. And of course, Holly wants to go out the door now. Hold on. Go on. Okay, so we have this nice silver Monet brooch. I'm making sure it is not broken. So that'll definitely be in a whatnot sale. And because I have a bunch of brooches now, I may do an all brooch like 25 piece sale during the week on top of my regular costume jewelry sale. Now this one I have had a couple of times. It's just a nice squiggly. I've had it in gold and silver. I actually might still have a pair listed in my eBay. Now let's see what this is without stabbing myself. Ooh, isn't that cute? A nice little spring floral brooch. I don't see any issues there. I'm trying to see if I notice any maker's mark. There is a maker's mark. This one is labeled B.J. See that right there. So that one is marked. So I'm putting the unmarked on the left and the marked on the right to kind of help me keep them apart. This is a beautiful one. Reminds me kind of like a peacock. It might be broken right here. Yes, it looks like it is broken in that one spot. No, or maybe not. Because there's a couple of sides like that. So I'm not sure because look. This side is missing some also. So I'm not sure if that is damage. Hmm. Because those feel smooth. This side feels a little rough. So I'm not sure. Let's take a look at the back there. See if we see what we can see. And this guy is not wanting to... There we go. Stay. Ooh, are you not wanting to stay closed or am I just completely missing it? I think it's bent. So this one has some issues. I'm gonna to need to see if I can bend this back because this is coming out, see that? Which is a shame because this is a very nice piece. So that may end up being a giveaway as a crafter piece. Here we have another one, another Monet. This is a gold tone Monet. So that could be part of a shape lot, some Monet shaped pieces. We have a nice butterfly here. This is a Monet butterfly. It's down under there. Nice silver tone, although this does appear to have a little bit of damage here. Some of the little pieces have come off. So again, that would go in like a craft pile. Here we have a simple metal pin, bow pin. This one looks like a nice quality one. I'm not seeing any maker's marks on it. Just kind of like a triple heart. And I think that's a silver tone. Yes, silver tone, triple heart. That's another fun shape one. What is this? This one has a maker. Let's see if I can see it through here. Nope. It's a B with an angel. Sorry. Something Raza. El Raza. El Raza. So there's a little angel. So there's a marked one. Then we have, I think that this is probably like a um, circus piece. It's a monkey riding a horse. That has got some really cool detailing. You guys can see it a little better against all the other ones. Then we have a little clip. So this is not really 
This is more like one of those shoe clips. So that I would put like in a little crafty lot. Then we have a push pin. Now this, this is solid. This feels, I forget what it's like pewter. I think this is a pewter horse. Do without stamping myself. Cause this is like that heavy duty silver. Then we have a simple rose, silver rose. I've seen this one before and ones like it with a nice little pearl center. This one looks cool, aw. Little bit of Halloween, we love a little bit of Halloween. This almost looks like a JJ by the back, but I don't see any markings. Just closing that up and double checking. Yeah, that has a nice backing to it. So that will probably go up closer to Halloween. And then there's this guy, which I'm not really sure about him. That might be a giveaway. Then I see, let's see, is this another Monet piece? This is a new, new pro, which I don't know what that means. But that's pretty. Look at that. Kind of a little steampunky, a little like uh, 80s retro art deco going on. Have to look that one up. So put that in the names section. Let's see, these had no those, so it didn't have names. This one had a, this one had no name, right? Yeah. Okay. We I have a feeling this is probably a giant Christmas tree. I'll probably have some Christmas lots coming up. Oh, that's cute with all the rhinestones on it. I'll probably have like a dollar Christmas brooch sale at some point when I start getting them all together. Let's see what else. Hmm. We have a lucky horseshoe. Oh no, wishbone. Lucky wishbone. Oh, here we have another Monet butterfly, but this one does not appear to be broken. So this one's actually intact. No issues there. That's right, this one was marked. And then we have this pretty guy with all these red, let's see, there we go. It's a butterfly with the flowers, all the pretty red rhinestones. I don't see any marks on the back, but that's a nice one. Just needs a little polish. This looks like a, a little starfish or something. It's missing. This one is a make your own, add some rhinestones to it. Nice little squid octopus. No maker on that one. This is just a fun little silver piece with some rhinestones. Definitely acrylic bead there with the rhinestones. No maker on the back. More contemporary for sure. Here we go. I think we have another Christmas tree. Another Christmas tree. Then we have our back to school, love to teach. For those teachers out there, that'd be cute for a giveaway. And then we have a dancer, she's fun. These all need a little bit of a polishing up. It's got some nice rhinestones and enamel and it is marked Monet, I believe. I think that's what I saw. Maybe not. Yeah, that's a Monet. Yeah. So another Monet piece, lots of Monet pieces in here. Don't know what this is. Oh, Red Hat Ladies Club. Let's see what else we've got here without stabbing myself. We've got one of the, these aren't clowns. These are like um, mimes. And the one thing I always find when I get these in lots is there's always at least one little scuff to the gold, but this one's actually in pretty nice condition. Holly, are you, are you giving your, your opinion of the jewelry? Holly has to give her opinion. For those of you who don't know who that is, Holly is my cat. And this one's got a little bit of scuffing, but still it's a cute silver tone, probably a pewter. kitty cat and then we have a simple rhinestone 
Very nice, very nice. Oh, I like this, it's kind of like a multi-pronged flower piece. Another Monet. That's a nice one, that's a little one. It's about probably an inch across. There you go. Some of this stuff is flaking off. Here's a very kind of 80s retro kind of art deco, art nouveau with the black kind of enamel and gold like that. Then we have Seasons Greetings. Again, got to do a Christmas sale at some point. I'm sure a lot of people will be doing those soon for Christmas in July. I'll probably do mine closer to like August or something once I can get my stuff together. But there's another Christmas one, so I gotta start getting those. This is kind of neat. This is a little more contemporary. I wish this one was signed. Look at that. Like the eyeballs in the trees. I think that's pretty cool. That'll definitely be a what dot piece. More of a pin. Then we have just your simple gold tone, elegant. Now this, I would probably like some of the simple ones like this. I might lot these together and do like a shape set. Let's see. This one is like it wants to have a maker, but it doesn't. Again, just a nice gold tone swivel. Swirly. And then believe. It's kind of damaged in the corner here. From the studio of... I can't even read that. Sandra May Summer. Sandra May Summer, maybe. That I see a frog. Oh, nope, it's a Rudolph. That's a cute looking Rudolph. It's even got a thing on the bottom. Maybe it had a bell. It's a cute little Rudolph. Into the Christmas section. Then we have a Christmas horse. Oops, it had a mouse attached to it. That's a nice looking horse. Let's see, who are you by? Bray's, Jerry's. G-E-R-R-Y-S is what it says. That one is by Jerry's. Then we have a nice little kind of like hammered silver tone. I can't tell if it's got, it does have like little sparkly rhinestones in it. So that's a cute one for a brooch sale. Oh, look at the butterfly. I like this butterfly. That's pretty. Let me see if my lighting, I can get a little bit more light for you guys. There we go. There we go. And it looks like this might be a Sarah Coventry. Yep, it's a Sarah Coventry, guys, but it just says Sarah on it. It doesn't have the C, just the copyright. So that's a marked one. Then we have just a nice silver leaf. Again, this one's marked. There's a lot of marked ones in this bag, which is nice. This one, too, is a Jerry's. So this one's by the same person who made the, the horse. That's the same person. So I'm going to have to look that one up. I've not heard of that one before. Then we have, this is an older one. I put this in like a holiday sale. It's a pretty wreath with like gold and silver. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. There we go. That one shines quite nicely and it's got the older back to it. Very nice. Then we've got this. This is a J or a T. I think it's a J. No maker there. Then we have another leaf, just a simple, elegant gold leaf brooch. That's not bad. Doing good on this lot. Some a little enamel flower. This says. The the pin peddlers and there's a 1-800 number so this must be like a trading pin look at the little mouse with this little eye i don't know if it's missing another eye or if that's just how it's supposed to be that's a cute little one we like him love animals oh 
this one, oh my god, I remember getting these sets as a kid. So these are pewter, and you'd get the pin, and in the box, you'd get the earrings that match. And I remember I had, I think, a cat set. So this is the giraffe set that has the pewter earrings that match. That's funny. That's awesome they're still together. That's a really cool one. That'll definitely be going to whatnot. Then we have just a simple silver. I might like lot some of these butterflies together. This is another Jerry's creation. And then let's see, we have a rose with a heart. Oh, that's pretty. It's got kind of like, I call it like that frosted and then the smooth. Yeah, see the difference how one side's smooth and one side's kind of like etchy frost. That's pretty. Another red hat lady. These, when I get a bunch of them, I'll probably put them together as a lot on eBay. So I have a couple of them already. We have some patriotic. This would have been good for the 4th of July that just passed, but you never know. And it says Avon on it. So this is a little Avon brooch. We have a cute little lighthouse pin. And this is an Avon as well. And let's see, we have all... It's a mama and baby pang, uh, uh, is it penguins? Maybe penguin. Mama and baby penguin. Lots of little animals. This is a broken piece. Let's see what's here. This is just a nice silver tone, kind of engraved heart. I don't think, oh. Para? This one is by Para, P-A-R-A. And since I'm on my phone filming this time, I can't look stuff up like I was doing before with you guys. So here we have a bell. So this will go in that Christmas haul. I'll start making a little lot and I'll throw some of the angels in there too. A little Christmas angel. And I'll probably do those like with a dollar start just because you get so much of the Christmas brooches. And I think this one's a pendant too. Nope. Well, this one has like a safety pin glue to it. That's different. It's got like a safety pin. <laughs> this one looks older. Cute little... Ow! <sighs> Bound to happen. Okay. Well, let's try this again without stabbing myself. So it's got like the Aurora Borealis style rhinestones. And it's got this little bit of an older weld on the back. That's a cute one. We've got a little... I've had this guy before. A little enamel reindeer, some pearls in his ears. And here we have another clip. And this actually, so that's interesting. This I bet was on here somehow. And this is actually one of those sweater clips, but this came off. So I might be able to I'm, I'm going to be able to repair that and then sell it as a sweater clip. This actually goes right there. So that's cool to have that. And I got the bracelet in there. Then there's this little silver vine. Things like this I'll group together and do as giveaways. A little enamel daisy pin. That's super cute. A little metal and enamel. Let's see. We have a lipstick. That'd be cute for a giveaway. <laughs> then we have just this kind of rhinestone with the green in the center. Let's see, we have a mini swirl. Ooh, that's very gold. That's like gold, gold, guys. <laughs> Aw, little, uh, oh, what are these? Not shamrocks, poins poinsettias. A little poinsettia for Christmas. Okay, what else we got going on here? Oh, this is something that broke off. That was a broken off piece. This says new something on the bottom. New, I don't know, new something. Oh, maybe New Year's. Maybe it was a New Year's pin. I'm trying to get the piece back in it so I don't stab myself while I'm showing you. I don't know if that one closes. This one might be a dud. I don't, oops, sorry guys. I don't think it wants to close entirely correctly. 
And then I like this one. It's just kind of simple, the little black. And we've got the pretty blue flowers. So there's some really good pieces in this one. I like this one. This one's a little bit like cloisonne to me. You can feel the texture of the gold in the flowers. So that's neat. And we have another angel. Oh, she's pretty. She's pewter. That's a pewter angel. It's a bit of a heavier metal. You can feel that. This is a nice tie pin. Some with the black stone in the center. I like that. And let's see what else we have. A turtle. And oh, now this too, I've seen one of these. This also is a sweater because I've had this one and it had a string of pearls and one on the other end and someone bought it. It's a sweater clip. So that's part of an old sweater clip. And then we have this, which I don't know what that is, but it's very, very, very peely. You can see it's flaking. So that's a no-go. That's going to go in the crafting pile. <laughs> this one's pretty. It's like a Celtic cross with purple rhinestones. That one will definitely be in a whatnot sale, along with this pair of turtles, because you gotta love turtles. And it is marked, uh, they're Jerry's. More Jerry's. I hear John feeding the kids. Ooh, Kim, are you watching all my vintage? Look at them cupids. That is super cute. And we have no maker on this one, I don't think. That is super cute though, guys. I love that. Oh, here's a pretty one. This is a Monet with green rhinestones. Look at that. I'm all covered in glitter now, but it's got kind of like the enamel and then it's got white and different shades of green. That will be a really good whatnot one. And then we have this little angel who is missing something. I bet that this was on there and it broke. Yep, that's what broke. And last but not least, we have a rhinestone heart and we have a, I have no idea, buffalo. We have a buffalo, guys. And that's it. That is the brooch haul. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up, guys, and hit that subscribe button. And I'll be back bringing you more brooches soon.